What's happening on America's college campuses is horrific. Anti-Semitic mobs have taken over leading universities. معاداة السامية أو معاداة اليهود هو مصطلح يعطى لمعاداة اليهودية. No, Mr. Netanyahu, it is not anti-Semitic or pro-Hamas to point out that in a little over six months, your extremist government has killed 34,000 Palestinians and wounded more than 78,000. 70% of whom are women and children. It is not anti-Semitic to point out that your bombing has completely destroyed more than 221,000 housing units in Gaza, leaving more than a million people homeless, almost half the population. Do not use anti-Semitism to deflect attention from the criminal indictment you are facing in the Israeli courts. It is not anti-Semitic to hold you accountable for your actions. السامية تعني الانتساب العرقي لسام ابن نوح عليه السلام حيث أن سيدنا نوح عليه السلام له ثلاث أبناء ممن نجوا من الفيضان وهم سام حام يافث وكل واحد من هؤلاء له ذرية ونسل لا زالوا يعيشون على هذه الأرض ورغم انتماء العرب والآشوريين وغيرهم إلى الساميين يعتبرون معاداتهم لا تصنف معاداة للسامية لكنهم يعتبرون معاداة اليهود تعد شكلا من أشكال العنصرية and I'm sure you were told that international rules and laws actually apply for every single state and it's not actually rules that you could use just whenever it suits you because seriously for the last six months you've been breaking all this rule and you're continuing to break these rules by using starvation as a method of war for the last seven eight years you've been attacking the sovereignty of Syria without any provocation taking advantage of the country situation and let me remind you that is a violation of the international rules and laws attacking the consulate of another country in another country actually a declaration of war and it is against international laws United Nations Security Council resolutions are binding for everyone which you didn't listen to for the last six months you discredit the International Court of Justice and you said that they are anti-Semitic institution which is actually the court that decide this international law weren't you the one that actually targeted the World Central Kitchen aid workers and other 200 or more aid workers for the last six months? Weren't you the one that attacks journalists and unalive civilians? Weren't you the one that was given multiple accusations for the United Nations for the last six months? And let me tell you the following. If you ask any simple person, what are all of this for the last six months? They will tell you that violations of international law. Israel is basically to blame for the war in Gaza. Hamas attacked Israel on the 7th of October and this started the cycle of violence but the Hamas attack did not happen in a vacuum it happened in a context and the context was 56 years of suffocating Israeli occupation of Gaza and of the West Bank so the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territories is the basic problem for this conflict. Hamas uh, was being sidelined. Israel was signing peace accords with the Arab countries, the so-called Abraham Accords. And Israel completely ignored Hamas and exploited the Palestinian Authority on the West Bank as a subcontractor for Israeli society. Hamas is the only Palestinian group that stands for resistance to the Israeli occupation. And by launching the attack on Israel on the 7th of October, Hamas sent a powerful message that the Palestinians will not be sidelined, that the Palestinian resistance is not dead, that although the Palestinian Authority collaborates with Israel in the West Bank, Hamas will continue to lead the struggle for Palestinian freedom and independence. Nobody afraid of Muslim people anymore. The war on terror propaganda is not working. 
I've met a lot of Muslim people at this point in my life and almost all of them were extremely kind and a lot of them were super disciplined and focused, which is something that I respect a lot as a wrestler. Some of my favorite mixed martial arts fighters like Khabib Nurmagomedov are devout Muslims. Nowadays, we have white boys in the rural Midwest rooting for Muslims every UFC fight night. You're not gonna be able to convince us that these people are evil and that our tax dollars need to be spent on bombing them. And you know who hasn't always been kind and friendly to me? Israelis, Zionists. I talked to some members of the IDF on Zoom. It took them about five minutes to start saying all Muslim people are terrorists. And to be clear, I'm not talking about Jewish people. I'm talking about supporters of the state of Israel, who with their violent, unhinged, and rude behavior are turning more and more people away from their cause, away from Zionism. Meanwhile, Muslim people with kindness and friendship are bringing more people towards the cause of Palestine.